Hey everyone, I'm here to solve your PETGHF rippling issues, if you've had them. Now, if you look under here, you have an intake fan right here. Mine's dusty as hell. I have to clean my printer. Yes, I know this. Now, I was, what I was getting was a rippling effect on this side using PETGHF. Now, despite there not being a proper preset for this, and you don't want to use a textured PEI plate, and you do need to use glue, I noticed I was getting like a rippling effect on one side and it was just about right here and it would almost be a circular pattern. <laughs> so I figured something out. If you have an ambient temperature in your house that is cooler like mine, I don't run the heat a lot. I, I, I just don't, it's too expensive. 71, 72, usually comfortable. But what happens is the cooler air inside the chamber settles at the bottom. So when you start printing with PETGHF at the top up here, what's going to end up happening is this fan is going too fast. It's pulling in colder air from the bottom. And it's causing a rippling, shiny, glossing, or stringing effect across parts or on the edge of a part over here. That's a big issue. So basically... To fix this, you either have to keep the temperature <laughs> of your house fairly warm. Because in the summer, I never had that issue. But in the winter, I noticed it. So we're having cooler air down here at the bottom of the printer getting cycled up. Until this bed gets below the fan. Once it gets below the fan, then the it's pulling in hot air from the bed surface. Then you Then the warping stops. Yeah, I know. I need to do some cleaning. It's a mess in here. But that is a major problem with PETGHF and this design right here. You pull in cold air from the bottom, force it up over the top, it causes warping on this side of the plate with some materials, not all materials, PETGHF for sure. But it is fixable. Either turn this fan down or almost completely off um, and print uh, at your normal speed and see if it starts stringing. If it strings, then turn this on a little bit faster and until you get to the point where you don't have stringiness, but you also don't have any deformations on the side of the print. That's a main... That's a big deal. So, if you keep your house cooler in the winter, that's what's going to happen. Just a tip. Hope it helps.